What's up guys? This is me, Wolfie Flowers, and we gotta play another part of Resident Evil 4, Chapter 2, and I I said it could be it's about um the cave thing, but I need I haven't looked it up yet, so I'm gonna look play it right now, finish chapter two, and so on. Um give you guys the announcement I am Feeble in humans. Let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Wake up! Ay, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <sighs> policia. You put your life on the line, nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not done. Hey! Do something, cop! After you. Now! <sighs> it's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No. But apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. How in the hell I get to Jello? Do you guys know how I get to Jello? I have forgotten and I haven't used it for a while. But anyways, as we are starting, uh I was in school. This really great. I'm studying. Um now I'm studying to get my driver license, so everything turned out great. And uh, throughout the story mode, I haven't seen a thingy. I don't know why he had inserted uh, Leon S. Kennedy's uh, neck. But later after that, we're going to figure it out. So we're going outside, I guess. And, uh, okay, here it is. Over here, stranger. Okay. Okay, let me go save this real quick. In case if something happens, you know. And let me go. 
go. Oh, and there's them. I always, what I do when I play video games, I always make sure that anything that is important, you know, like uh, around the house or around any building, make sure that you can find anything useful. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> <laughs> Got a selection of good things on. Oh, he's the one who sent all the blue medallions. Oh, come back after you've shot ten or more of them. And you got. And I've got a specialized gun. I want y'all to try it out. All right. So, what, what he buying? is buying now? He got a case, a map, a rifle, a TMP, a rocket launcher. Okay. What are you buying? Let me see. Oh, okay. I think I know what it is. It's just like uh, upgrades, right? It is an upgrade. Okay, so. What are you selling? And then here, it's telling me what I need to sell. Boy, am I not surprised. Let's just see. Is that old stranger? Let me see. Okay, in my little case, I don't think it's gonna be enough for the other weapons that come up. So I might gonna need a large big case. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to sell the in because. Okay, the thing is, I. This is what I know about this game. This game, you have to organize a lot of stuff. I believe whatever I'm going through, I think I'm going to have to put a lot of stuff in this case. So I don't think I'm going to need this small case. I think I'm going to get a little bit upgrade on the big one. Okay, I, okay, I, I didn't mean to do that. Sometimes I have Welcome. bad class ever. But... Jesus Christ, that boy got a buying? lot of big stuff, huh? Is All right. that old stranger? I am gonna buy the big one. <laughs> Thank you. All right? If y'all mad at me, I am sorry, but I mean, hey. What are you buying? So, to upgrade the stuff, you need to have, let's say, my firepower. Let's say that one needs 7,000. Firing speed is 5,000, and the other is 4,000. Let me see what the other one. This one's a little bit higher. And the rifle, I don't have it. So, let me. What are you selling? I'm gonna sell. Is that old stranger? Oh, yes. <laughs> Is that old? <laughs> Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. Is that old? <laughs> I'm gonna leave it to um, spinals, and I'm gonna. What are you buying? What are you buying? Cause to me, this handgun is gonna help me out in the future. So I'm gonna let's say. Is that old stranger? <laughs> I'm gonna. Thank you. I'm gonna upgrade the firepower in this one, and this one needs seven thousand. Let me see if I could. What are you selling? If I had enough to sell this one. Is that old? <laughs> and it does. What are you so buying? I am I'm gonna. Is that old stranger? Upgrade the firepower. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my revolver oh, handgun. Sorry. Come back anytime. And I am gonna check the other places before I'm do something else. And I gotta write one. Okay, and let me see. There it is. And it has a little bit more space, you know, that, you know, it, you have to make yourself comfortable. What is more necessary first? And, and I think I am literally gonna be that genius. So I am. Oh, also, uh, thanks to my friend of mine, uh, his name is Ricardo, he is helping me out. Of course, he knows Spanish too. And, oh, you know what, let me go back and let me go save this real quick. And he told, he sent me a um, list of numbers with the buttons I need to use whenever it's like the 
the one three five six or any other number that I need to press that I don't know what it is other than you know the keyboards that of course we all know so and so thanks to him he's guiding me to this and and I'm getting better you know at uh, I'm actually getting better to fight other villagers out there since I know these villagers are pain. Handgun. Okay, this is my lucky day then. And it's so gross when you see that uh, stuff come out. Oh no 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 done with the people and clean it out and as you can see I still have some bullets and stuff I was like save me so I am survival I'm at survival wait what should I press oh here is the thing I oh oh and this one I don't know what it does, but it says here, it won't open. It looks like something fits inside the hex, hex, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's, don't get it too wrong, all right? Uh, hexagonal, in the, in the, <laughs> indentation, that's what it is. So. Look, I got it. I got it from my job. I just got here and I started recording because I was thinking about you guys and I, you guys weren't wanting to see more of these Resident Evil 4 and I will do it for you guys. But uh, I have nothing in my head. I'm just completely blank. And yeah. Uh, okay. And I know this game is very good graphic. I really like this game. Uh, this game is all about survival. Like, how do you manage the game? And, um, of course, I would have, you know, if I would have played this from the beginning and played the full game, I really already know how the game goes. But I, like I said, I just play it in demo, so I pretty much don't know how this game goes. So, uh, I'm like trying to investigate. Oh, look, there's something over there. It is very gorgeous. It's a mask though, huh? It's a golden mask. I want to get that one. Anything? Okay, maybe I'll just go here. Oh, jeez. Another one. I don't like the quietness in the middle of nowhere. Hey, there you go. An elegant mask. Anything else? Let me see how much I got. I got 37 out of it. These. Pretty much, it looked like I know how to handle guns. Ew. His mouth stinks. What's happening? Why you got quiet? Who's in the water? Try yourself. It's gonna be one of those jump scares like I used to play one time where uh, some monsters coming out from the water. Oh wait, they're fish. 
So, I don't think fishes is a good thing, right? Let me see. Let me give it a try. And skabush. Oh damn, that's a big ass fish. Uh, let's say yes. Cause I don't know what to do with that big fish, but it's all right. No. I bet there's just one fish, but this fish is so annoying. I didn't mean to, all right? I am so sorry. I really didn't mean to do that. I really didn't mean to do that. Oh, there's three fishes. Oh, there's another one here. Huh? Damn! I got a full of fishes up in here. Let me try to organize this right quick. Hold on. It's gonna take me for a while. Well, it turns out I have organized it. <laughs> I didn't expect to pull out the fishes though. That's pretty neat. Hopefully they don't get rotten. That's for damn sure. Because I remember I used to play this game where basically I could, could hold it for a while. And then after that it got rotten where I had to go throw it away. Like I cannot use it no more. But I don't know if this game is the same thing like the other one that I used to play. I don't know what do you call this game. I don't know. But only for sure I'm going to still play in this game, alright? Until I'm done with this chapter. So, yeah. And what's this? And what's this? And a hand grenade. Alright, I love the hand grenades. The hand grenades will save your life. If you're like full people coming in and stuff like that you're literally okay i didn't see that expected i'm like oh there's a shiny thing okay and uh let's keep going i guess Hey, look, I saw the symbol. It says, a large crystal ball looks like it rotates. Hmm. Oh, no, it's a puzzle. Go up. Up! Shiny is fluffy. Listen, totally listen, fluffy. <laughs> I cut that out. Every single time when I see something shiny, I'll be like, open it up. Oh, yes, please. Chief Snow. And as instructed by Lord Seller, I have the agent in the inconfinement alive. Why I kept him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he'd, he'd keep them separate, not confine them together, as has been ordered. I don't expect Luis will trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. If, for some reason, an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they l they'll let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us of, uh, vulnerable so that his third party will s surface, if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possi uh, possibility, but if a prowler is already among us, then our plans will could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work at any rate it's the lord's call we will trust him judgment as always mm, so i wonder who wrote that but it sounds like they had a plan what to do with them some way somehow and we'll see
We'll, we'll see. And that boy ugly as hell. I don't know who is this dude, but if only I had a chance, I was shot in the damn forehead. Checks. They're all textbooks written in English, but I don't I have time to read them. Alright. Let's open this thing up. Hay rumor Nuestro jefe se cuidará de la rata. Si la plaga es mucho mejor que la nuestra. You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood? Another chapter! Okay, um... This is, I think, 1-2, but it's okay. And little by little, we can start play playing and all that stuff. So, yeah, um, the next chapter looked like a church with a cemetery. It looks creepy as hell. It looked really haunted. So, I don't really don't like that one. But it's all right. Things happen. We still, we get to explore more. So, let me go save this. And next time, we are going to see why in the world what's going on. So, thank you guys for watching. And hopefully, you guys are enjoying this game. Hit a like if you want to. And, uh, and more things that could come up with this conversation. It would be great if you guys want to help me out how to pass this game. Or give me a sporting alert. Whatever you are going to make me spoil, it's okay. As long as I will still see it, I don't care yet. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching and have a night, everyone. Thank you.